Markets blowing off to the upside? Hey, Canada trade deal? What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard to Bubba's Midday Daily Update, and this will be the update for today, but I wanted to get out some information as we see what's going on in the markets. And of course, the big rumors are is that there's going to be a trade deal with Canada and the equities were lower and took off. And of course, the Nasdaq is exploding to new highs. The Dow is still the laggard, but it is up about 80 or 90 points at the time of this. S&P is up about 17 points and the Russell's up a little bit. We saw a little bit of selling pressure early and now the markets are taking off. I think the interesting thing is to watch here is the volatility index, the VIX, is very near unchanged. With a market that is exploding like this, that would be a warning sign to me from a buying standpoint. And again, I'm not saying to sell. I'm saying this looks like a blow up. I did take a cheap shot myself with some SPY puts, but that's a story for another day. Uh, but in the meantime, you've got the grains are waffling. So wheat is exploding to the upside. Soybeans are higher. Corn is right around flat, and I think that corn will be the, the telltale sign as to what goes on here as these trade deals start to, to, to work out here, as it's been under a lot of pressure. The meats are mixed. Uh, cattle, both fats and feeders, are both hovering around the unchanged level. Hogs were higher, came all the way back down, and now are higher again. Those are the key areas to watch in this overall trade situation, because that's the, where, where the effect is going to come from, and I think we'll see that the, the, the bottoms are in, in my opinion, especially in corn, and we'll see how this works out. We've been, we've been buyers all along, even through the, the tough times, as they say, but bonds are a little bit lower, but again, that's just a sign that interest rates are rising, and we know that if this all comes to fruition, that things are going to change, and they're going to have to raise rates faster, which goes back to our original theory of the potential black swan, which is higher rates, higher dollar. The euro currency has been very whippy today keeping a little bit of pressure on the dollar, but the dollar is holding strong right near that 95 level. So what we're looking for here is uh, the announcement. Hopefully it will come later today. The, the rest of this spike blow off, that would be an opportunity to take a, a, a stab at the short side of the market once we get the blow off. But it has to have a heavier volume. The volume is not very heavy now. So there's a lot of quirks that have to go around here to make this a very valid trade. But certainly, you can see that we have Apple's exploding, Amazon's exploding, uh, Square is exploding. So all these NASDAQ stocks are exploding. This is almost a reminder of back in the 90s. Consumer confidence at, at all-time highs almost. And of course, if we go back to the last time where this high, I think we talked about this yesterday, was the year 2000, right before that collapsed. So at the end of the day, again, I'm not telling you to jump in here. I'm telling you that what to look for. And this looks like a blow-off to the upside. And we should start to see some selling pressure. The only thing I can tell you, though, is you've got volume going to be declining the rest of the week because of the Labor Day holiday, which can either lead to an air pocket up or an air pocket down. Now, if we get the blow off to the upside, I would expect to see that fail at least the first time through. So this is a midday update. I just want to keep you informed and posted on what's going on and what I'm seeing in this market. In the meantime, the Bitcoin is down a little bit, but hey, it's, it's, it's again, it's had a nice rally. Markets don't go straight up. They don't go straight down. You look for the opportunity to levels. And of course, gold is back under pressure a little bit, but I think coming down to a level, we'll probably want to buy. So I think that everything's kind of playing out the way we've been discussing it and looking for it. But the key for you is to remain patient and wait to pick your spots, pick your opportunities. This is Bubba's Midday Update, Todd Bubba Horowitz. And of course, don't forget, we have a webinar tonight on futures at 6 Eastern. Go to BubbaTrain.com if you'd like to join us. Also, our high school program, don't forget that. Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N.com, forward slash Bubba Trading. And, of course, the Bubba Show at 4 to 5 Eastern every day at LibertyTalk.fm. Have a great training, everybody. If we see something else, we'll get back to it. But in the meantime, look for the blow-off. Watch the VIX. Have a great day. We'll see you later.